Um, then we have uh, uh, Eleanor Goldfield, excellent source. Uh, she writes for Mint Press News right now. Um, and uh, she does her own independent journalism. She does a lot of organizing, creative activism. Uh, she does a, a lot of stuff with Lee Camp, uh, Common Censored Podcast, which I'm super behind on. Uh, they do a live stream every Friday. They're, you know, kind of during my Citizen Revolution shows, but whatever. I'll 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 let Lee go on that. I'll um I'll I'll, I'll forgive him on that. <laughs> uh, just giving him shit for no reason. Uh, but speaking of Lee Camp, uh, Redacted Tonight with Lee Camp, that's another uh, good good news source that I've used, uh, especially some of his VIP interviews, because he gets some really cool guests, uh, some really cool guests that I'd, I probably can't guess. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I, I, I use him as a source uh, as well. Uh, and I know he's a comedian, but, I mean, our generation has gotten more news from... Uh, someone like Jon Stewart than, you know, fucking Tucker Carlson or Anderson Cooper. So I think that trend continues because as comedians, as artists, um, you know, our particular goal is to challenge the status quo. Um, you know, we don't really have particular biases. I mean, artists do get bought out. Artists do get purchased by the corporate you know, neoliberalism and this, like, you know, the industry kind of sucks people in. So, th those people kind of work within an agenda, uh, sometimes knowingly, sometimes not knowingly, but for the most part, independent artists, true independent artists, are going to push back against the system are going to push back against the status quo. And that's part of the reason why we listen to people like Jon Stewart and Lee Camp and Dave Chappelle and Jimmy Dore, Graham Elwood, or, you know, Ron Placone. These are all folks uh, that... Um, uh, w. Kamau Bell uh, is another one there. Uh, these are all folks that I think are pushing back against the, the, the corporate system that's in place right now, uh, the, 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 the status quo, and they're punching up instead of punching down in terms of comedy. Um, and they are informing people and they are educating people through their comedy. They are opening people to new perspectives, new points of views, and new way of, ways of thinking. So I highly recommend those folks, Lee Camp, Jimmy Dore, Graham Elwood, Ron Placone especially, uh, they're, they, they all have, um, you know, these sort of outsider lefty television shows. Um, some of you are going to be like, why not John Oliver? And it's like, because John Oliver is kind of fucking neoliberal. You know, he shit on third parties for no reason. Uh, with, I mean, and, and didn't really have like a great excuse except that Jill Stein put out a weird folk album in the early nineties or some shit. Uh, and then he did a smear piece on Venezuela, and he's been really condescending and kind of a prick about a lot of different subject matters, and uh, I think he's one of those people that if you don't believe the exact thing that he believes, then he thinks you're a fucking idiot. Uh, so I, I, I kind of grew out of John Oliver. Um, Hassan Minaj, I've watched some of his show. Uh, it's fine. It's okay. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Hassan's style. The, the basic template and concept of the show is pretty similar to mine, and I've been doing my show since 2013. No big deal. Not trying to brag there. Uh, <laughs> but the idea of picking a subject matter and kind of delving deep into it, um, you know, uh, it's just I don't have a multi-billion dollar budget, and I don't have Netflix to pay me. Um, I am... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm paid by you guys. I'm paid by the people that watch this video, become patrons, make one-time donations, buy tickets to my shows. Um, you know, uh, my backdrop is drawings I made that I think represent me a little bit more and, and a curt and like a, a, a top sheet. That's a curtain. I just don't have the budget that Hassan Minaj has. I think he's fine. I don't, I don't hate him. I don't love him a whole lot either so you know take that for what it is i watch some of his segments every once in a while but you know it, again it's like it's part of netflix y take that with a grain of salt you know 
Uh, even W. Kamal Bell, he's on CNN. So I'm pretty sure there's certain things that he can and can't say because of the network that he's a part of. It's the same thing with Jon Stewart. There were, there were things that he can and can't say uh, because of the network he was part of. That's just, uh, that's just part of the reality of what it was. But Jon Stewart and I think W. Kamal Bell, too, are doing a really good job of kind of navigating the corporate entertainment waters and still providing like in-depth um you know anti-establishment type material and pushing back against the status quo uh Chappelle show did the same thing and you know part of it was like had they restricted them i think because of the popularity of their show it would have looked bad for the network and that's really what it, what it boils down to what is up everybody thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please hit that like button please share it around with a friend or an enemy or whoever you think would enjoy a, a video like this uh just share it out uh youtube and facebook usually suppress content like this they don't usually show content like this to to a lot of people so i very much depend on you guys the viewers and the fans of this show to get the word out uh, and make sure that you're subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to make sure you're getting notifications about this video. Uh, I have a bunch of different ways that you can financially support this show. One is by just making a one-time donation. You can just make a one-time donation. Say, hey, that was a fucking great video, and I want to support it financially. Here's X amount of whatevers. Uh, another way is by becoming a sustaining member. Sustaining membership gets you free tickets to shows, uh, unreleased stand-up comedy content and storytelling content, and early access to a full uh, holistic episodes of Fork Full of Noodles uh, that you get weeks in advance. Weeks in advance, you guys. Uh, and another way to help is by coming to a live show. I've got a bunch of live stand-up comedy performances coming up. Uh, I'm going to be doing the Fringe Festival in Providence, Rhode Island, the, Pro uh, the Fringe PVD. All of these are virtual festivals, by the way. Uh, July 30th and 31st at 6 p.m. If you want to be part of the virtual live audience, let me know. Send me a message. Leave a comment. Uh, email me. Uh, and I'll send you the donation link. And I'll make sure that you're on the list to be a part of the live virtual audience. It's July 30th and 31st at 6 p.m. And then we're on to doing more of the Citizen Revolution live virtual stand-up comedy shows. Each week, brand new content. Brand new material and a brand new subject matter, and I donate half the ticket sales to a grassroots organization. Uh, the next one is August 7th, and then on August 14th and August 28th, and then we'll be moving right into the fall, so keep up with these dates. You can go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for uh, continuing to come back to support this channel. Until the next one, we'll see you on the road.